It is a one day of brainstorming session for these members of civil society organizations who are disturbed by the falling standards of the level of education in their country and hope to develop modules that will enable them continue to put governments in check on improving the standards of education in Nigeria. It is now time for the government to prove they are equally working towards financing public, equitable, inclusive and free education. For them, it is a call to demand accountability from the federal government and state government on delivering quality education to the Nigerian people, children and adults alike, under the Universal Basic Education Program. The unfortunate reality here is that no child in Nigeria has the right to 12 years of education. And so some people may ask why. It's because the law does not make provision for it. The goals they agree is to facilitate and provide equal opportunity to all Nigerians. But the question is how realizable. That question is what they seek to provide answers to. The Minister of Education, who was represented by the Deputy Director of Education Management Program in the Ministry, says it is not in doubt of the capacity of the civil society groups to task relevant agencies of government to become accountable and points out that the federal government recognizes the rights of all Nigerians to quality education. The mutual relationship that exists between active participation of the citizens and sustainable development cannot be undermined. The call to action by the organizations to the federal government is to strengthen the public school systems while states and local governments are to monitor and ensure free education which must be qualitative as it should be easily accessible. For the young Nigerian and an ambassador for the girl child education, there is no alternative to providing the girl child quality education. Over the last years, we do more of signing. We sign numerous agreements on education, but we don't implement them and we don't sustain them. If we cannot sustain it, if we cannot implement it, please let us not sign it. Osaiti Osadebame, Core TV News, Abuja.